can I get your name, please? My name is Jason. Have you ever worked, Jason. or do you know someone named Cliff Yates? Oh my God, do I! And how do you know him? Let's see. I've worked with the man for about five years. I've known him for about eight. Do you have any funny stories or analogies you'd like to share with us today? Where to begin? Funny stories. There, there's millions. I could spend hours telling you funny stories about him. But the thing that makes him so great and such a great subject for a documentary piece is he is one of a kind, truly one in a million. There's no one else in the world like him. Tell us a story about him, something that might uh, make the rest of us laugh. Oh, man. The weather. I'm looking up at the clouds, you know, outside today. I think it's going to rain. We've had a lot of rain here lately. He hates rain. Hates snow. Hates sleet. Hail. Any kind of inclement weather. And he freaks out. The beast inside him really comes out. Why, what One is... time, years ago, before I started working with him, we went to a ball game. At the end of the ball game, it starts raining. It started driving down harder and harder. I see him way up ahead of me, just pulling his way through the crowd. And I'm like, screw it. I'm already going to be soaked anyway by the time I get out to the truck. So I didn't even try to fight through the crowd. And I made one, my way across the parking lot. And I get out there, and he's hunkered down on the side of the truck, covering his head, screaming at me. Get over here! Get over here! Don't lock the door now! Hurry up! So I got up there and unlocked the door and was just kind of laughing. And then I realized it was no joke. There was intensity, rage there. So what was he scared of? The rain or the lightning? Rain, thunder, lightning. The whole scenario. Oh, yeah. And he thought once he got inside the truck, he was going to be safe. Yep. A it, fellow co-worker once suggested to me that just as a cruel, sick joke, we uh, handcuffed him to one of the flagpoles out front during a rainstorm or a thunderstorm. We're convinced he would upgrade that thing out of the concrete and carry the mole with him to his cover. Well, thanks for sharing that story with us. Before we let you go, could you maybe do act like him for a minute or two just so we can get an idea? Roll. That's the first animal that comes to my mind. You gotta kinda hunch the shoulders over. Test off look on your face. And then get a fast walk. Like, like this. And then if somebody says hi to you, and wants to stop and talk to you, you gotta either throw your hand up or throw it up and say, I ain't got time. I'm busy. I ain't got time to mess with you. Very good. Very good. Thank you for your time, Jason.